Oh, oh my lord! Hello, I'm Sexy Jesus, and welcome back to Resident Evil Survivor. In my last video, I started my search for Lot. I fought my way to the factory, which looked more like a house. But anyway, uh, inside there was a giant lab, and I've been going through this lab, and uh, I came across this uh, door here, and uh, to me this sort of says boss battle, so I decided to just hold the, this off until this video. So uh, this video, we are going to go into this door and uh, to see what's in it. Hopefully, you've pushed the switch. Uh, hopefully, if there is a boss battle, hopefully it's not too difficult. Oh, it's a door that leads to a door. Oh, okay, well, this, that door looks even more uh, ominous. Oh, okay. Alright, we'll go ahead and pick up the uh, blue herb. We'll mix it with another herb, j just because. Why not? And also, over here, there's some uh, flame rounds. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I'm starting to believe that there is a boss battle right here. Ooh, baby, I mean, look at, look, just look at it. It's looking pretty, uh, oh yeah. They are creating these monsters on this island. Just a Mr. X? What do they think they're doing? A Mr. X? Oh no! Fight the Mr. X! Oh no! Be afraid of Mr. Ow! <laughs> he's a little annoyed, but <laughs> he's not threatening at all. I think he mostly just wants hugs, but I run away from him. There we go. That, that was actually, uh, just as easy as the others. There's a lot screaming like a screaming like an idiot. Oh, okay. And what do we got? We got a shotgun bullets. Okay. I think that's all Mr. X has. He just has a bunch of shotgun bullets. <laughs> all right. So that was a little anticlimactic. Hopefully we. Oh. The hunter almost wrecked him. <laughs> the, the way he runs. Hang on! Well, this is actually kind of, kind of epic right here. Oh no 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 no! Okay, we'll just go ahead. And we'll 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 be ready for this. Go! One shot? <laughs> really? <laughs> and I, you just turn around like, no! What? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. What are you talking about? It's not your fault. Vincent is the one who caused everything. Well, I mean, I... You? What do you mean? You're the detective. Your name is Art Thompson. What? Really? Bum, bum, bum. I'm not Vincent? Then why did you run away from me? Because I'm the one that told Vincent about you. Hello, I'm Vincent. I've been transferred to this facility to inspect it. Nice to meet you, sir. I know Commander Vincent. So I knew that you weren't him when I saw you. What? A spy? Hmm. This voice acting. Thank well. you. You are a good boy, Lot. So then I'm Ark and not Vincent. Lot, do you know of any way to get off this island? My dad told me that there's a railway station up ahead from here. A railway station? I heard that it runs underground. Okay, we'll use that. Let's go get Lily. Go ahead! Hurry! We'll meet at the station! 
digits. The cell no. instruction <coughs> system has been activated. This island will self-destruct in oh. 10 minutes. All the personnel must evacuate immediately. Repeat. All the personnel evacuate immediately. Alright, so basically, every Resident Evil, it always ends with the place self-destructing, and this one had to take it a step further. Oh no, it's not just the facility, no, it's a whole island! <laughs> like, they're not playing any games. Alright. Let's head up in here. I'll keep the shotgun on me, because, frankly, I think I'm near the end of the game. That's right! At the request of my friend, Leon S. Kennedy, I came here to investigate! Oh, yes! I remember! I remember everything! Tell me the truth! You are a spy, aren't you? You're not going to get away! Yes! I'm not Vincent! I'm Ark! He said his friend Leon Kennedy sent him here. See, if this was canon, if he really was Leon's friend, the reason why Leon sent him here was so he did have to be around him like, Wow, you, you are horrible. Uh, go to this island and, like, don't come back. <laughs> he, he vanishes him to the island. Let's, uh, let's, uh, battle some, uh, monsters. Oh, it's, it's, it's a couple zombies. You know what, screw it. Just because... Just because I uh, just want to go through this really quick. The shutter lock in Area E is being released. Okay. And plus, I, I have a bunch of ammo in the grenade launcher and the magnum, and here's even more magnum ammo. So I think I'm good with ammo if it comes to a, a boss battle. And, uh... <laughs> based on the boss battle so far, it's probably going to be uh, fairly simple. You push the switch. Yeah, somehow I missed the shutter here in this hallway. And it has a bunch of plant monsters in it. Oh no. I'm afraid. They're so slow. Bam. Oh, good lord. Oh, he, he's, he hurt me. He, he, he at least got a hit on me. So uh, at least uh, at least the plant monsters can say they actually hit me once. I'll, I'll give them the one. There's a the goddamn tyrant. Okay, what's this? The master key. Okay, all right. I do likes me some master keys. How to extract the material? To establish a system of mass-producing tyrants, it is absolutely necessary that during the process of gene cultivation, a large amount of the beta hydro must be injected. This material is one of the human brain's elements. It has been revealed that the material is mainly produced by the purity of people at the later period of developing their secondary sex characteristics. Also, medical data shows that this cerebral material is produced in response to the excessive selection of the nord that is produced from the locus. All these words in the brain stem. Nordorendamin is a cerebral material scattered when people are in the state of extreme tension or fear, as the beta hydronuclein only exists in active cells. You can't extract it from a dead brain. Thus, the best way to extract the material is to cut open the subject's skull without using anesthesia. This will cause the excessive Secretion of a immunity, the printer is uh, ripe for immediate extraction. Vincent Goldman Commander, Tyrant Plant on Sheena Island. Okay, uh, now we know how to make tyrants. The creature being cultivated here appears to be ready to move. Hmm. All right. Well, you know what? I got the master key, so we're going. We're going to head back to that one room 
to open the door that was locked. I believe that's what we were doing. I kind of lost track of exactly what we're supposed to be doing, but I'm pretty sure that little cutscene. So I'm doing something right. Run! Run! Andy! I'll kill you, Vincent! <laughs> Stu's an idiot. I'm not I'm Vincent! I'm not Vincent! Liar! Who else could you be? You are Vincent! You're a murderer! Now die! How do you even get down here? Why? <sighs> And the tyrant got him. Oh no, he's slowly moving towards me. Oh no. Oh no, he's... He, he's sl Ooh. Ah. This tyrant can run! Okay, they've upgraded their tyrants! Alright, here we go, the last uh, set of shotgun shells. Come on. There we go. Yeah. All right, let's let's get up out of here. Um, yeah, I got the master key, so I should be able to get into this door, right? Oh. Oh, what's going to happen here? The tyrant's mutating. Great. And the zombies are back! It's just the one, he got back up. Alright. Use the master key. Alright. Another cutscene. There's more! Does that mean I run? What's in here? You know, it would have been really epic if it was just like a bunch of zombies and stuff started coming in and I had to run for it, but no, no, it was just a bunch of empty rooms. Alright, so let's uh, hop in the elevator with my one shotgun shell. <laughs> See, here's a plot twist here. I'm going to show you how to defeat the uh, tyrant with one shotgun shell, which I'm not. Get on the train! Hurry! Evacuate immediately. Repeat. All personnel evacuate immediately. Well, uh, alright, I, I can I can try. You know, it'd be more wise, you know, to like start running and not stand there and listen to the uh, recording. Or, you know, run down dead ends. That 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 would help too. Well, look at this! Shotgun shells! Yay! So maybe I was wrong. I have to actually to take the the shutter. There, there we go. All right. Our shutter is now up. Now I can get in the train and uh, get up out of here with the uh, with my uh, adopted children. Apparently. Oh, good lord! Yeah, they actually made me have to heal just the one time. Just the one time. Get up out of here. I, I hated using the shotgun shells. Screw them! Screw them! Let's just go. They can't even hurt me. Let's just go. <laughs> I don't even know why I bothered to fight them. Well, there we go. I beat the game. Well, what if that was it? That's just how you beat the game. The tyrant mutates, you don't even fight him. The, the music is uh, pretty peaceful, though. Okay. Hey, you guys stay here. I'll go see if it's safe. Level 1. Okay. Hello? Creatures of darkness? Get in the helicopter! <laughs> There's a tyrant <laughs> up there, like Spider-Man. Still alive. Oh, 
<laughs> Alright, you know what? Pulling out the big guns here. Magnum! God dang it! Okay. So that was that is that was that was painful. That was pretty painful. Ow! Yeah, you're basically able to get off one shot. Then you have to run. Wow, the, the Magnum takes uh, quite a bit of time to reload. Yep. Sorry, Tyrant, but you can't hit, hit me when I'm not looking at you. He jumped over me! Nope. It's still pretty intense, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the most intense fight I've been in through this whole Let's Play. Maybe, maybe the Hunters, when I get ambushed by Hunters. But uh, this is pretty, pretty nerve-wracking here. But now that I actually uh, know his pattern, it's a, uh, it's not, oh I missed it. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. Just turn around, and just shoot him once and run. All you gotta do. Okay, I'm out of bullets, so we're gonna have to go to my old friend, the grenade launcher. Uh, would flame rounds be good? Yeah, we'll use we'll use flame rounds. All right. I don't think he liked that very much. I don't think he liked that at all. Am I even hurting him? Come on now. Are you kidding me right now? He's repeating more? Oh, oh my lord! I went through all that just for the mutate the one time? Okay, good. Good, I'm... Have I been missing, like, a lot? Because I, I feel like he, I should have already beat him by now. No, I gotta admit that he is a very cool looking uh, tyrant. Pretty horrifying. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he almost got me. He almost got me. Whoa! He, he was he was holding me up in the air. Okay. Okay, see, th th this is a problem. I keep missing. I think a lot of times when no. And he, uh, he, uh, he got me. He, he got me. Okay, so I'm back up where I was. Um, the, this time around, I was able to, uh, get him down pretty easily. Um, I didn't even use the Magnum, I just used normal grenade rounds and flame rounds. Uh, just stay right up on him. Like, avoid his attack, but then quickly turn around and then just hit him right in the face with it. And, uh, you, you can, uh, take him out pretty easy. I think my problem was is that I was missing a lot and I wasn't realizing it and he can grab me and that is not fair at all. So I'm going to try to use the Magnum on the second form. Yeah, okay. Because the second form seems to be a bit slower with his uh, jumps. And I think the first form actually jumps over the Magnum round. Okay, I, and I also still have my uh, two herbs so I should be good for a little bit. Yeah, you definitely want to get distance on the second form. You're yeah, okay him until he leaps at you like a crazed monkey. You're yeah, okay. See, the problem is that he turns so slow. So when he's right up on me, I can't, like, pull off a quick hit. I really wish I had a quick turn. 
I really wish I could do that. God dang it! There's times where I don't even know if I'm hitting them or not. No! God dang it! God dang it! I know I've probably said this like a thousand times already. God dang it! Well, I'm down to old Betsy here. She's, uh, she's uh, helped me plenty in the past. Not really, I've barely used a shotgun, but it will come in handy now, I guess. God dang it. Oh, one shot. Okay. That's comforting. Okay, that didn't help. I've thrown everything I've got at it. It's up to the D. The handgun D. Yes! Oh! Oh! Oh, that was so... Oh, that was very intense. I wouldn't think I would be saying it, that for this Resident Evil, but whew, he almost got me again. Hurry! And, and, and how did Lily get here? That's what I want to know. I, di I didn't even think about that. Like, how did she even get here? I'm pretty sure I left her at the house. She just came through <laughs> after me. What, what happened there? That wasn't explained at all. It was a pretty uh, legit explosion, I suppose. The island's still there, so. It's safe. <laughs> yeah, I'm just happy not talking anymore. <laughs> How did Tyree even get up there? Was he just hanging on the whole time? Wouldn't they have noticed? <laughs> Epic, but just based on out of what this game is, it's just like they tried really, really hard. <laughs> they really did. What are we gonna do, Mister? Yeah. What are we gonna do? I, I don't know. But don't worry. We can fly as long as we have fuel. We can fly as long as we have fuel. <laughs> well, I think you better find a, you know, land before you run out of fuel. But <laughs> okay, so there we go. That was Resident Evil Survivor. <laughs> it is. It is a fun game if you ignore the horrible voice acting. Um, and the fact that nothing can hurt you <laughs> when you're not looking at it, but if I actually had a gun controller, that that would actually make the game a lot funner, but, you know, trying to use a, a D-pad, it kind of, kind of, kind of takes a little out of the fun out of it, but uh, it's decent, it's, it's a good thing it's not canon, because, good lord, I would like to see god dang Ark Thompson appear in, like, Resident Evil 7 or something like that. Okay, I don't know if there's anything at the end of the credits, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, skip to the end. Ooh, ah. Presented by Ca Capcom, I'm not going to be able to do the Resident Evil Survivor at the end. Is that what you're saying here? I'm not going be to be able to. Alright, result. Rank B. Alright, alright. Clear time, 2 hours, 20 minutes. <laughs> Hit average, okay, 78%. Alright, alright. Uh, killed monsters, 112. Alright, continues to use two. Uh, gun collection, uh, I miss, uh, there's still three guns I can get, so. Alright, a B rank, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's okay. It's alright. I, I probably could have done a bit better. I could have probably have avoided the, uh, deaths, but, uh, you know, I, I'm happy with that. It's a lot better than, uh, 
I want to get on Resident Evil 3, like a, a D or an E or F or something. It was horrible, but yeah. <laughs> I'll go ahead and I'll end it here. Um, yeah, next video, I'll probably, I'm probably going to start up with Spyro 3. I kind of held off that uh, series so I could do this for Halloween. And also, probably on Halloween, I'll probably have like a Halloween video too. So watch out for that. And uh, yeah, I'll end it here. This has been Resident Evil Survivor. And uh, yeah, until the next video, I'll miss you. Yeah.